tonight, a small cafe in Staten has a big holiday tradition. On Thanksgiving Eve, the Covered Bridge Cafe hosts a free Thanksgiving dinner for the entire community. And it brings hundreds of people together from all walks of life. That's exactly the point. Our Amy Frazier is live in Staten with more on this. Hi, Amy. Hi, Dan. Well, on Wednesday evening, I can tell you this cafe will be packed. The owners here say it's all about building community. It's a labor of love. We should sign up volunteers for this part. And a cherished <laughs> Thanksgiving Eve tradition at the Covered Bridge Cafe in Staten. We love it. And we got it down pretty good. <laughs> I mean, Amy Frazier, it's our 14th year. 580 pounds of turkey breast, buckets of butter, cases of corn, and stacks of rolls. Here's the thing, you know, we own a restaurant. We have food. No one should not have something to eat every day. No matter what. The community dinner Wednesday also has another big ingredient. Some people don't need the food, they just need to be with someone. They, you know, we have customers that will say to us, you're the only person that we talked to today. I mean, what the heck? What? Thank you. It's about bringing people together as one. To me, I mean, it's about, you might be sitting next to the guy that sleeps under the bridge, or you could be sitting next to the sheriff. You just mm -hmm. don't know. And that's, you know, for me, that's the magic. Donations from businesses and neighbors helps make the free meals possible. It's just a zoo. <laughs> it's a turkey zoo. Truly it is. So. so do cafe employees and dozens of volunteers. You think you're blessing the other guy, but you soon figure out that you the one that, that you got the blessing from it. So that's. That's how volunteering works. Thank you. Come Wednesday evening, the cafe dining room will be filled with decorations, special tables, and community. Being kind and just sharing yourself with someone, no matter what they may need, is really what makes people feel good. It just kind of creates that community. And as part of the event Wednesday, volunteers also put together hundreds of meal boxes. They're then delivered to people who might have a hard time making it here to the cafe. Reporting live in Staten, Amy Fraser, Coin 6 News. Great story, Amy. It was told a long time ago, a hello, a how are you goes a very long way. Thanks, Amy. More